watching The High Road with me, Keith Warren. Brought to you by Timber Creek Outdoors. Tell everybody what we're doing, honey. We are currently sitting up top on a little perch. We're on a vantage point overlooking the river bottom. We've been hunting all week and the weather has just been fighting us. Um, but right now we're trying to get my dad a deer because he got a combo tag. And then hopefully tomorrow, if he gets a deer, we can go after some pronghorns. We got some cows around us. We've got the rifle sit sitting right outside by the truck. So if we see something, we can ease out. He's got a good rest and we can make a good long distance shot because it's not going to be close. Guess what day it is? Hmm. You don't remember that commercial? No, I don't. It's the camel walking through the office. He's like, oh, Mike, oh. Mike, 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 Mike. Guess what day it is? Home day. <laughs> Which way is the storm going? There's a storm on both sides of us. It's going to our rear ends. Yowza! We are currently waiting for Mike at a gate, and we're trying not to get struck by lightning. What are we doing, Johnny? We're sitting around here like a lightning rod, hoping we don't get struck. And we got on our rubber shoes, so we yeah. should be fine. All right, good. All right, so we have been having our rear ends handed to us on this hunt. The weather's been bad. And when it cleared up, the wind has been bad, and uh, the animals have not been cooperating until now. Maddie, tell them what you got. Well, I just shot my second pronghorn, and it's been a heck of a day. We've we put up probably five stocks on different groups of pronghorn, and it was really difficult. Just the wind, everything was working against us, and he's beautiful. Pronghorn are probably my favorite thing to hunt in North America. Them and bears. There's just nothing like it. It's its own game. Um, and I'm very, very happy with them. I think they're such cool animals. Show them their fur. They're real spongy. If you've never seen pronghorn fur before, real spongy. And they've got these glands here. And everyone says, don't touch them because people think they smell bad. Well, I think they smell great. It smells like sage because they rub themselves in the sage right here. And it smells kind of like puppy dog breath because they're gamey. But we got one down. One to go, and it's been a good hunt so far. A tough one, but that's what makes them good. Well, girl, you can shoot. Yeah. I got lucky. Yes, you did. I like it when you get lucky again. All right, so we got busy today. My LWRC barked right. I'll show you what I got. Nice pronghorn antelope. It wasn't a very long shot, about 150 yards all, but uh, I want you to take a look at these ivory tips. This is an old buck. I mean, look at this. I don't know if you can see him from out there or not, but I mean, these ivory tips are pretty doggone cool. And, uh, and his body indicates that he is an old buck, but as far as shot goes, look at this shot right there. That's a hard shot, baby. That's a hard shot. Now, what we gotta do is we gotta get this guy tagged and cleaned up and out of here because we still have a deer tag to fill right here. All right, I'm going to tell y'all something that, honest God, you're not going to believe because I don't believe it. Do you believe it, Mike? No. Okay. And, and John, you believe what, what Absolutely we're not. What we're fixing to show you. Okay, so last night, I was up on that knob right up there with Maddie and Johnny, and we had uh, we had some deer down here, a really nice buck, and I shot and I missed. Okay? And it, I felt good when I made the shot, but I missed. I, that, they said, man, you shot over him. Okay, and then all of a sudden we let we I mean we looked for him, couldn't find him. We had a hell of a rainstorm come in. 
We come back today, we go sit right up there on top of that knob, and Mike, what'd you say? I said, you sure you missed him? Yeah, I'm absolutely positive I missed him. I was so disgusted, I didn't even look at the video. Both Maddie and Johnny said, ah, you missed him. Ah, look at here. I didn't miss him. And he died right here in the field. Look at this deer. I mean, he's stiff as a board, but look at this. I mean, he's a really nice 10 point buck. I mean, he's got a, I mean, just a nice buck. And what a shame. I mean, the rainstorm got us last night. And uh, anyway, what a heck of a bad way really to, uh, to end a deer hunt. But we got lucky enough, we did find him. And the, the thing about it is, I want to point something out. If he had died 20 feet further back in here, we would have never found him. So you talk about the good Lord looking out on after us and uh, making sure that we got him. But uh, anyway, put a tag on him. All right, so this is the end of our trip. And as we walk out the, the door, then I gotta show you something. We got all of our bags. I gotta show you what Maddie does when we walk out the door. So anyway, that concludes the vlog. I'm gonna show you one clip of how Maddie gets us out of the door because we got an extra wide load. Uh, let me hear from you and we'll catch you next time. Do it, Maddie. Extra wide load coming through. What do you say? How we do it?